Welcome back to DT Daily. I'm Casey Montoya. Today, Samsung puts its 55-inch OLED TV into production. Smartphone users call 911 from their pockets. Facebook launches an app marketplace. Apple and Foxconn plan factory upgrades. And anonymous attacks Virgin Media to support the Pirate Bay. But the Pirate Bay's founder says no thanks. First unveiled at CES 2012, Samsung's impressive 55-inch OLED television is finally ready to land in living rooms. This will be the first OLED to market. This bright, crisp, and super thin OLED TV, officially called the ES9500, comes loaded with a dizzying array of technology options like smart interactions, smart evolution, and smart content, all of which are designed to give users a better, more immersive experience. And of course, it's 3D capable as well. Unfortunately, such a high-tech luxury comes at a price. The ES9500 will run buyers about $9,000 when it hits stores later this year. Every cell phone owner has accidentally called someone from their pocket at least once, but a new report shows that it's not just family and friends who are getting burned by these so-called butt dials. In both 2010 and 2011, nearly 40% of 911 calls made in New York City were unintentionally from people's pockets. The New York Daily News calculates this to equal out about 10,700 calls made every day because these false alarms waste precious emergency response resources. The city is looking for ways to eliminate the problem. In the meantime, do 911 dispatchers a favor and put your phone on lock. Facebook finally has an app store. The social network announced Wednesday the launch of its new app center, which the company hopes will help users discover the ever-increasing number of third-party apps available on the social network. Each app will be given its own page, which will include a description of what the app is, what it does, and what kind of access it will have to your profile data. The Facebook app center will begin to roll out to users over the next few weeks. Following years of criticism over worker conditions, Apple and Taiwanese-based manufacturer Foxconn, which makes Apple's popular iPhone and iPad, announced today that the two companies will share the cost of improving worker conditions at Foxconn factories in China. Apple and Foxconn have been battling against public perception that the factories, which employ more than a million workers around the world, have sweatshop-like conditions. Work on the upgrades is expected to begin soon. The hacktivist collective known as Anonymous is at it again, and the group has its sights set on Virgin Media, one of the UK's largest internet service providers. Following Virgin's move to block the torrent site, the Pirate Bay, from its internet service subscribers in compliance with a British court ruling, Anonymous responded with a series of DDoS attacks against Virgin's website. So far, the site has been down for two days, but despite the support from Anonymous, the Pirate Bay's incarcerated founders have asked fans not to participate, calling these attacks a form of censorship. That does it for today. Check back with Digital Trends later for how Spotify plans to play Cupid, our internet developers on Sony's upcoming Little Big Planet carding, and we'll test Ultrabooks against traditional laptops.